In this video, we will see what are critical constants and how to determine the critical constants. The critical temperature and the corresponding values of pressure and volume at the critical point are called the critical constants of a gas. There are three critical constants. One is the critical temperature Tz, critical pressure Pc and critical volume Vc. Next, let us define what is the critical temperature. The critical temperature of a gas is defined as that temperature below which the gas can be liquefied by the application of pressure alone. Above the critical temperature, we cannot liquefy the gas Howsoever, the larger pressure we apply. And critical pressure is defined as the pressure applied to the gas to liquefy it at its critical temperature. And the critical volume is defined as the particular volume of a gas at the critical point that is at the critical pressure and at the critical temperature before we go uh, we go to determining the uh, critical constants we need to know the basics of differentiation so if you want to differentiate a variable x power n the formula goes like this d of x power n is given by n times x n minus 1 the power diminishes by 1 into dx for example if a variable x bar uh, x cube d of x cube is differentiated then it becomes 3 x square that is the power of a x diminishes by 1 x square dx d 1 by x cube this can be written as d of x bar minus 3 when it gets differentiated, we get minus 3 x power minus 4. Already the power is minus 3. It is diminished by 1 times. So, it is minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 times dx. Okay. Now, let us determine the critical constants. At critical point, the rate of change of pressure with volume that is dp by dv is zero so this point is called as point of inflection inflection means the point where no change happens so at critical point the change of pressure with volume is nil according to van der waals equation p plus a by v square into v minus b is equal to rt and here p is the pressure v is the volume r is the universal gas constant and t is the temperature a and B are Van der Waals constant. Let me rearrange this equation. So, rearranging P by P plus A by V square is equal to RT divided by V minus B. Again, let me rearrange it as P is equal to RT divided by V minus B. I am taking this a plus b square to the other side. So, it becomes a by b square. So, let me take it as equation number 1. Now, let us find dp by dv. Now, I am going to write equation 1 as p is equal to rt. I am taking uh, the denominator to the numerator. So, it is V minus B to the power minus 1 minus A V power minus 2 for my simplicity. Now, let us do dP by dV. Let us find the change of pressure with respect to volume. So, R and T is a constant and when you differentiate 
this term with respect to volume you will get minus 1 into v minus b into minus 1 minus 1 it is minus 2 again this term becomes minus minus 2 a v power minus 3 let me rearrange this if i rearrange what i will get as minus rt divided by v minus b the whole square minus into minus becomes plus 2a divided by v cube so this is dp by dv we know at critical point the change of pressure with respect to volume is zero and temperature t becomes the critical temperature tc and p becomes pc and the volume becomes vc so what is our dp by dv now dp by dv is equal to minus rtc divided by vc minus b the whole square plus 2a divided by it is vc the whole cube and this should be equal to 0 at critical point so minus rtc vc minus b the whole square plus 2a by vc the whole cube is equal to 0 or we can write 2a by vc cube is equal to rtc divided by vc minus b the whole square so let us take this as equation number now let us take this as equation number 2 and this becomes our equation number 3 now again let us find out d square p by dv square using equation 2 so from equation 2 it is minus rt this v minus b which is in the numerator when it goes uh, which is in the denominator when it goes to the numerator it becomes minus 2 into v minus b the whole q minus 3 so already it is minus 1 so minus 2 and minus 1 it is minus 3 plus 2a into minus 3 v power minus 4 so upon simplifying you can write 2rt divided by v minus b the whole cube plus sorry minus 6a divided by v power 4 again at critical temperature or oh, sorry at critical point this d square p by dv square is equal to 0 and t will be equal to tc and p will be equal to pc and v will be equal to vc we can write at critical point to the above equation as 2 rtc divided by vc minus b the whole cube minus 6a by vc power 4 is equal to 0 or still we can simplify this as 3a by vc power 4 is equal to rtc divided by vc minus b the whole cube let us take this as equation number 4 now let us divide equation 3 by equation 4 so equation 3 is 2a divided by vc3 when i divide it by divided by equation 4 then it becomes vc power 4 divided by 3a on the other hand we will get rtc divided by vc minus b the whole square then it is on the left hand side it is divided by 
this so we will get vc minus b the whole cube divided by rtc so here this rtc and rtc will go this thing and this thing will go a and a will go and this and this will go so what we will get is 2 vc is equal to vc minus b 2 vc again uh, this 3 is here so we will get 2 vc is equal to 3 vc minus 3 b or we can write or simplifying this we get 3 vc minus 2 vc is equal to 3 b or vc is equal to 3 b so we have found the value of the critical volume vc is equal to 3 b now let us use equation 3 just given by 2 a vc cube is equal to rtc divided by vc minus b the whole square and this i am using the value of vc as 3 b so we get 2 a by 9 b cube sorry it is 27 27 b cube is equal to rtc divided by vc is 3 b here minus b you will get 2 b square so it is 4 b square so here you can cancel out this and this so you will get rtc is equal to 8a by 27b rtc is equal to 8a divided by 27rb this is the critical temperature so the tc the value of tc is 8a divided by 27rb now using equation 1 which is uh, given as pc is equal to rtc by vc minus b minus a by vc square so i have uh, written everything in terms of the critical constants here so we know the value of rtc here r into tc is 8a divided by 27rb and divided by uh, vc minus b vc is value is 3b minus b minus a and vc again the vc is 3b square so vc square is 9b square so you get r and r gets cancelled and this will give you 2b here so it is 8a divided by 20 so 27 2754 b square minus a divided by 9 b square simplifying this you will get can take uh, 1 by 9 b square outside within this bracket you will have 8a by when you take 9 from this you will get 6 even a you can take so it is 8 divided by 6 minus 1 so it is a by 9b square so 8 minus 6 it is 2 by 6 or you can write it as a a by 27b square so the value of the critical pressure pc is equal to a by 27b square so we have determined the the all the three critical constants the critical volume as 3b and the critical temperature as 8a by 27rb and the critical pressure is a by 27b square